In this next chapter, you'll learn one of music's greatest secrets. And for the first time, you'll use the cards that came with your video. Each card contains simple letters, symbols for the chords you'll learn to play. Don't worry, I'll explain how the cards and symbols work. You should use these cards as a guide to making your own sounds. As you'll see, there are a lot of ways of playing the chords, and the more you experiment, the better. Most people have the impression there are thousands of chords. Actually, in music, there are two chords that everything revolves around. Let's start with our thumb on F and skip the next three keys on the piano, counting the black keys. Then skip two keys, counting one black key, one white key. This formula always gives you a major chord. Let's try the chord on G. Skip three keys, there'll be two black ones and a white one to skip, and then skip two keys. This is the simple formula for major in all cases. Even if we start on a black key, if you skip three keys, you'll always get the same sound, it's the same structure, it's always kind of a bright, happy chord. Now the rule on minor is the middle key is different than the major, and that's the only difference. Let's start on G. Now skip two keys and play the black key. Now skip three keys, there'll be two white ones we skip and a black one we skip. It's the reverse formula, it gives a darker, sadder chord. Now as we practice these, we'll add the bass notes just to get the resonance. Matching the root, the bottom note of the chord. The bass note matches G in this case. Let's try a couple of major chords with a, a slight rhythm, a slight pulse. E major requires a black key in the center of the chord. F major does not. Both of them follow the same simple structure. Skip three keys, skip two keys. Now if you look at chord progression number one, you see it starts with a capital letter A followed by a small m. That's the symbol for minor. The small m turns it to minor chord. So start on A, skip two keys, skip three keys. These two formulas unlock the keyboard. All melodies relate closely to these two basic harmonies. They seem to be disguised, they seem to be free, but the main notes of melodies stay very close to these two chords. When we're practicing major chords and practicing minor chords, we're practicing all melodies ever written. Now in the chord progression, A minor is followed by D minor. The root is D. In this case, all white keys will give us minor. Skip two, skip three. Back to A minor. Now E major requires a black key. F major. D minor. Back to E major, A minor. So when we add simple rhythms, a simple texture, this progression will come alive. Actual music chords last about four beats before they change. It can be as many as eight beats. But stick with the same chord for a pattern that you choose. Twice is fine. Mm -hmm. 
So once in a while we'll do some advanced examples throughout the lessons that you may want to look at and listen to, but you won't be able to perform it until later. Now listen to this syncopated rhythm that comes from Latin music. If you can, double up on the bass, play two bass notes that match the chord notes. Here's the secret to chord structure. All major chords have the same structure. That is, play, skip three, play, skip two, play. Here's what that means. Play the root note. Skip the next three keys, counting both black and white. Play the next key. This is the middle key of the chord. Then skip two more keys and play the next key. That's a major chord. Minor chords are only slightly different. Play, skip two, play, skip three, play. To make a minor chord, play the root note, skip the next two keys, play the next key, and skip three more keys and play. This is a minor chord. Really, the only difference between major and minor chords is the middle key. If you lower the middle key of a major chord, you'll have created a minor chord. The various combinations of major and minor chords form the foundation for everything that happens in music. 